Hey everybody, it's Mike over at Disney Daily Dime and we are back with another uh, resort room tour. Uh, this time we are over at Disney's newest resort, which is the uh, Disney's Riviera. Uh, the room we're staying in is a deluxe studio, uh, so we thought we'd go ahead and do another room review, kind of walk you through what it looks like and feels like. Uh, this resort is brand new, it's been open for all of about, uh, I think, two weeks uh, now. Uh, so we're here to stay. We'll have a, uh, a full resort tour video uh, here probably in the next you know, week or so. Uh, once that's up, I'll link a card to it uh, right here in the video in case you want to see the overall resort tour. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and, uh, and go inside. All right. So I'll do a little magic band to open the door up and kind of see the room. Again, this is a deluxe studio. And so as you come in, you'll notice that you're greeted by a fairly, you know, straight hallway with, I'll call it this little area off to the side, which is, this is nothing more than a closet right here. Uh, most people won't care about that, but if you are a DVC member, uh, and this is a DVC resort, you'll find your, uh, your vacuum cleaner and the things that you're used to uh, as a DVC me member inside of here. As we come in, and I'll come back to it, you have the restrooms over on the left, and I said uh, restrooms, plural, not because there's more than one restroom, but there is actually more than one shower stall. So that's nice if you have a group of people like us. Uh, this room can actually sleep five. Uh, we'll talk about how that works, because as you can see, the standard configuration that you'll find in here is a, uh, a queen bed, and then you see the couch on the far side, and that's it. Awfully tiny for something that's going to sleep five people. Um, but much like Disney has sort of done in many of the resorts, you're going to find beds that pull out. And we'll show you those here in a little bit. But again, these are queen beds. Uh, from a storage perspective, you're going to find down here drawers underneath the bed that will pull out. Uh, so you can keep uh, your stuff down there. There's two of them below the bed. And then you'll have, obviously, night side um, tables that are right there. And then underneath the coffee table in here as well, there are a couple of uh, drawers that pull out. Not nearly as deep uh, as the others, but, uh, but they do pull out nonetheless. Uh, you do see, and one thing that I really appreciate, because quite often on our trips I have to do uh, real work, uh, not the stuff that I do for fun here, and you'll see that there is a table and chair set up here uh, as opposed to the room that we had uh, over at um, the Grand Floridian earlier this year, uh, which ha did have a table and a chair, but it also had a Keurig machine and tea and other stuff on it where it rendered the table almost unusable. Uh, so this is a good thing for me. And if you got anybody in your family that works uh, while on vacation and needs a spot to set up, um, you know, I think this is a, a much more uh, tenable situation than you'll find on the, uh, the other parts of, uh, like the Grand Floridian. So nice wall art, you see very, uh, French Riviera vibe or, or the overall Riviera, not just the French Riviera. I guess there's also the Italian uh, side of it. And so you see, uh, the Mademoiselle Mouse, uh, uh poster or wall art. And then you had a nice little uh, picture of what I'd consider more of a, you know, oceanfront uh, countryside of, uh, of Italy or France, but again, kind of sticking to the Riviera theme. But I do think this room does a better job of integrating some more, you know, Disney related theme, even though they are light touches. This is definitely a resort that's going for that high end, uh, kind of consumer and traveler who wants nice appointments and nice touches, uh, but it doesn't completely lose the uh, Mickey and Minnie theming. I'll talk more about that here in a little bit, uh, or not in a little bit, but when we do our resort tour, because you're gonna see a lot of, of uh, Disney related stuff. So this is the bathroom. So you have a common sink area. I was a little disappointed that it only had one sink. I was really hoping we'd have two like you find in other resorts. But you know what, if I had to take the trade off of one sink and get two showers, which this room does have, 
I think I'd take that because the showers are always the bottleneck for us getting ready in the mornings or taking showers after day at the parks. So you have one shower here, and then you've got another one over here kind of next to the uh, toilet area. I'll kind of take a peek in here. The one that I just showed you is a full bath. This one is actually just a shower. It's got a little seat that you can sit on. It's got the nice rainfall shower. We have not used it yet, so I can't comment on the pressure. Um, hopefully it's fairly good. If it's like the room that we stayed in over at Old Key West, hopefully that bodes well for how much pressure the rainfall showers can get. I'll actually link to that uh, room tour that we did at Old Key West uh, right here up in the cards too, if you're interested in that, uh, that resort. So next up, We'll come back on out to the main area. And sorry, we're, uh, I have Elsa here helping me, so she's kind of dodging around the room as I'm kind of walking through. Uh, again, we said this was a DVC resort, so you'll find some of the standard amenities that you find in, in those types of resorts, mainly the little kitchenette uh, that you have in here. So you can see you've got uh, a microwave, a mini fridge that you know will hold you know a little bit of food and drinks and whatnot, a sink. And then underneath the sink is eh, not much, a little bit of toiletry, some toilet paper, tissue, sort of stuff like that. Here's your trash can in the room. And then of course it comes stocked with uh, all sorts of uh, plates, you know, toaster, ice bucket, uh, things like that. I assume there's glasses up in here. Yep, some cups, coffee mugs and the like. Now, if you're interested in what the uh, room kind of comes with standard, I'll kind of zoom in here and let you kind of read through what all is uh, is kind of normally furnished in the DVC rooms. But I won't uh, I won't read it to you. You can slow down the video or pause it, and you can uh, check it out for yourself. And up here, no, nothing. It just looks just like a vent. So. In our case, our room is actually a preferred view. This is not a standard view for the uh, the, the uh, studio. So it has a little bit better view than potentially other ones where you might be looking at a parking lot and whatnot. We have a view right off the balcony. And this overlooks the quiet pool. And then over there in the distance, I'll zoom in a little bit, you'll find the uh, main resort pool. You can see the Caribbean Beach Resort off in the distance and the Skyliner. Uh, up and running out there uh, so so this is what the view looks like in kind of the at least our version of the preferred rooms I uh, can't comment on if every single preferred room has this view but my my guess is that many of them do we're on the fifth floor if this gives you any idea of of how sort of high up we are um, it's interesting for the pool given that uh, that's the quiet pool and a little private pool and you have all these rooms where you, they can just look down on you a little weird but now we'll save that commentary for our our resort tour uh, over there you can see that top building or the top floor that tenth floor very top section up there that's where Topolino's is had breakfast there this morning with the character dining it was a fabulous time we'll have a review on it on the blog here in a little bit uh, but the patio does come furnished with a set of chairs and and a little side table where you can have your morning coffee and sit back and relax and enjoy things um, you know it's nice weather right now so good morning to kind of sleep or sit out there and, and sort of ease into the day so like i mentioned before this room is designed to sleep five so the way it accomplishes that is that this let me move these pillows this bed is actually or this couch folds down it's basically a murphy bed now we'll see how well i can do this because i have not tried this yet but generally these beds pull down fairly easy as you can see it just folds down i'm just yanking it down with my right arm trying to be gentle with it so it doesn't have any problems and boom there it is so there you go oh and so we've got 101 dalmatians a little bit of disney theming hiding in there so that's really cute all the dogs watching the tv as as usual the uh reminds me of the room that we or the resort that we just stayed at uh, we stayed over at uh, all-star movies uh the night before this or a few nights before this and so uh, I'll link to that uh, resort tour as well, uh, since it's kind of top of mind. But love the Dalmatians. That seems to be the way Disney's going with a lot of the uh, murals these days, or, or Murphy beds, I should say, is they're putting these murals of some sort in there. Let me see if this folds down or does this do anything. 
No, this kind of feels like it's just, I don't know. I don't want to tug too hard and break anything, but it feels like it's kind of pinned in there. Uh, so it's not going anywhere. So you take some pillows off your main bed and then pull it on, uh, on across. So then, so that gives you room for two more people. And then what you get for your fifth person is underneath the TV, there's this thing where normally a dresser or something alike would be. And it's another pull down bed. Very similar to kind of what you see at uh, the uh, Riverside Resort. Uh, I've seen that bed in, in there's rooms and, and a few others here and there. So you got this nice little image of Pascal. Uh, very, I'd say, uh, Rapunzel themed uh, background to this uh, fold down bed. It's a good size bed. I think it would fit a full size person. It's not just designed for kids. Uh, at least it doesn't look like it to me. I, you know, we'll, we'll have either Anna or Elsa sleeping in this bed tonight. Uh, but it's, it's nice and love the touch. The light automatically lit up, but you can see there's a switch right over in there that kind of controls it. And that, uh, you know, I think that is most of the room. Uh, so with that, I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up. So this is what the deluxe studio uh, room looks like. Really nice room. Um, you know, I think for my personal taste, I think I probably like it a good bit more than uh, than kind of, I'll say, its counterpart room over at uh, the Grand Floridian. Um, we'll, uh, so we'll uh, go ahead and wrap things up. If you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate it if you gave it a like, share it with anybody you think would find it interesting and, and helpful. Uh, and if you like what we're doing on the channel, feel free to you know hit that subscribe button, and uh, you know we'll be back with another video here in the next uh, the next week or so. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're looking for anything on the Grand Floridian, I'll put a couple of videos or or, or at least the room tour video that we did of our room there. Uh, that's kind of comparable to uh, to this one. Appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.